Actor John O'Hurley has had a long career. He's been on TV shows such as Seinfeld. He's been on Broadway. He's loaned his voice to animations. He's hosted everything from dog shows to Family Feud. But he is most recognizable from his role on Seinfeld. He played Jay Peterman, the owner of a clothing catalog who became Elaine's boss. Then in the distance, I heard the bulls. And I began running as fast as I could. Fortunately, I was wearing my Italian cap to Oxfords. <laughs> Sophisticated, yet different, without making a huge fuss about it. Rich, dark brown calfskin leather, matching linen vamp. Men's hole in half sizes, 7 through 13, price $135. Classic character. Seinfeld has been out for a while. O'Hurley is still keeping busy, though. He recently came to his birth state of Maine to throw out the first pitch at a Sea Dogs game. His son was the catcher. Our Johnny Mailer caught up with him at the ballpark. I come back with a lobster. I, frankly, I have a minimum daily requirement of shellfish every day. Um, it's just an unusual, it's one of the prettiest states in the country. No, the, the, uh, and so many things to offer, the, you know, the, the, the waterlands and the lakes, uh, and then the seacoast are just extraordinary. Uh, it's just one of my favorite places to come. We actually drove through a gunkwit today, and my wife, this first time that she's really seen that area, and my son, the first time he's seen it, and it was just extraordinary. And we go past the Agunqua Playhouse and my wife says to me, you got to do a show here. And I think back and I go, yeah, I really do. I, I, they've called many times and I'd love to. About to keep an eye out for that. So we saw your championship run on Dancing with the Stars. So we know you've got good footwork and you're here for Seinfeld night today at Hadlock Field. Does that footwork translate to athletic skills as well? Are you also an athlete? I don't know. I'll let my son answer that. Am I an athlete? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I fancy myself as a, uh, a, a person who wished he was a pitcher. Uh, every time I watch the Red Sox, I'm a diehard Red Sox fan. It goes with the territory being born in Maine and also being a fan of the Sea Dogs. Um, it, uh, I fancy myself as a pitcher. I wish I had been. And, you know, so I, I watch pitching and, and the whole art of it very carefully. Now, part of your being here tonight, raising awareness for the Epilepsy Foundation uh -huh. that you are very involved with, why is that? so important to you? Well, epilepsy is something that kind of hit our family very hard. Back when I was a youngster, when I was 16 years old, I lost my sister uh, to epilepsy. Uh, she, uh, she passed away suddenly and uh, it left a big hole in our family and it was something I became acutely aware of, this thing that people don't know anything about, these, you know, these uh, uh, neurological disorders, uh, epilepsy being one of them are kind of still the black hole in, in medical science. Uh, we don't know a lot about them. We know a lot about a lot of other things, cancer and things like that, but the neurological disorders are still a mystery to us. And, and right now we're able to treat them with, uh, and manage them with therapeutic medicines and, and, uh, uh, and there's a great deal of hope for people to have it. It's a controllable disorder and uh, it's, people can live normal, normal lives. And that's the message that we're trying to get out with uh, epilepsy awareness is that it is something that is controllable and it's you know, it's, the people that have it are as normal as you and I, and you just happen to have epilepsy. As well as health issues on Twitter, you're pretty outspoken about uh, political views as well. Some actors may shy away from that, but why do you think it's so important to, you know, put your views out there and, and speak your mind? I don't. I, you know, it's funny. Once I had this guy nine years ago, I realized that my job is, uh, is, is, is to kind of clear the path in front of him. And I, uh, I'm, I'm not a bachelor anymore, and I'm, res I'm responsible for the world that I leave to him. And, and so... It's not about what I say yes to anymore. It's what I'm willing to stand up and say no to. And so, uh, while I may not, everyone may, may not share my opinions, I do believe that uh, that I, I have a voice and it should be heard, as, as as is everybody else's. Now, as long as Seinfeld reruns continue to air, a lot of people will see you as Jay Peterman. Do you think you would have any suggestions about what to wear on a main summer day like today? <laughs> <laughs> As Peterman would say, for the love of God, man, tear your clothes off, <laughs> sit here, fold your legs in a pair of baby blue boxer shorts and enjoy the game. <laughs> uh, you're also, you're throwing out the first pitch tonight, also going to be singing God Bless America. You mm -hmm. sang in musicals like uh, Chicago and Spam a lot. What other musicals would you like to cover? Maybe rapping in Hamilton or something like that? <laughs> yes, that would be. Uh, can you see? Uh, John O'Hurley takes over the lead in Hamilton. Yes, because he is so jiggy with it. <laughs> uh, 
You know, there's one, uh, I, I'm doing uh, uh, the 20th anniversary of Chicago on Broadway uh, this year. Uh, I'll also be doing the oldest musical in America called The Fantastics. Uh, that's also on Broadway, but I'll be doing uh, that around Christmas time. Um, they'll be announcing that, I think, next week. And uh, the only other one that I really want to do is bring back, uh, we're doing the 10-year anniversary of Spamalot. Um, uh, starting in uh, 2018. Okay. It's the 10 year anniversary, two years removed, <laughs> which is so Monty Python. Yeah. <laughs> so, really, the 8 year anniversary? No, it's the 12 years, actually. But, uh, yeah, it's a Monty Python joke. <laughs> uh, your resume, very long list. On that list, uh, time spending hosting Family Feud. Uh -huh. Are there any celebrity families that you wish you could go back and, and host with and have them on the show? Oh, celebrity families? Uh, the, yeah, you know who I wish I had on the show uh, because they're just at raving lunatics, the Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper and his family are the most unusual people. Alice is maybe one of the smartest people I have ever met in my life and one of the funniest. And his family is one of the dearest, but they just, they all, they're just, they, they look like they're put together with spare parts. I mean, they're just, it's like you never say, this is a, where does the gene pool come from here? It's just, it's just uh, such enjoyable people. Dear friends, I love them dearly. I'd love to have them on the show. You gotta love a guy who can embrace that character. It's been like, what, 20 years since Seinfeld's been off the air, and you know he gets asked to be Peter Men every day. Yeah, yeah. And he did it. No, he looks like a guy who just enjoys what life has given him and is really still having a blast at whatever he does. Hopefully he'll be able to do a show in Maine. That'd be fun to come see him here. And here's an interesting bit of trivia. John O'Hurley eventually met the real Jay Peterman, helped finance the relaunch of Peterman's catalog. Now they are business partners. Did not know that the Jay Peterman catalog was real until I read that script. No, I haven't seen a Jay Peterman catalog in 25 years, I bet. But they must be out there, at least in the digital world. In the digital world.